Introduction to Application Container Cloud Service on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's enhanced regions offer highly available infrastructure ideal for enterprise applications. Oracle Platform as a Service offerings contain all the software and automation tools you need to deploy and manage software application platform components without the operational cost overhead. This adds up to great price performance for the application container cloud service. Oracle Application Container Cloud Service, or ACCS, enables you to easily run your applications built using Node.js, Java, PHP, Python, Ruby, Go, .NET, and other programming languages in a cloud environment so that your users can securely access these applications over the Internet. This is essentially a true pause offering where deploying and running applications on the cloud is completely managed by Oracle. ACCS is a managed polyglot cloud native application runtime platform. When you bring your applications to ACCS, the application runtime platform pairs this application container with a load balancer and an SSL enabled public URI so that your users can easily access your application using the public URI over the Internet. What kind of applications can I run on ACCS? Currently, you can use ACCS to run any server-side applications that store the application state information on an external data store, such as Oracle Database Cloud Service, Oracle Storage Cloud Service, Java Cloud Service, and Messaging Cloud Service. Such applications are typically referred to as cloud-native 12-factor applications. What are the benefits of using ACCS? Here are some of the key benefits of using ACCS. Supports hundreds of open frameworks like Spring, Vaadin, or JRuby to easily deploy applications to ACCS. Provides built-in IDE integration with Eclipse, NetBeans, and JDeveloper. Runs applications internally on Oracle Linux and Docker containers providing elastic and dynamic scale out or scale in and scale up or down. Provides complete application lifecycle management, ALM, with its native integration with the developer cloud service. Manages all the underlying OS updates, DB patching, and library updates by Oracle. Integrates with caching, coherence, developer cloud, Java cloud, DBCS, MySQLCS. Provides a choice to have a DR by creating a passive environment of the same or scaled down setup in a different data center. Other than these, this service also has many advantages, such as minimal admin work, useful for workloads like a lightweight website setup, mobile backends, async worker jobs, and API backends. Primarily suited for stateless applications with an option to persist state through storage and database service. Migrate existing apps to cloud by a simple archive deployment from on-premise or from DCS. Lower TCO. Full access to enterprise Oracle Cloud ecosystem of services like DBCS, messaging service, storage service, etc. DevOps and microservices centric. The service is packed with features. Can you tell me more about the Oracle ACCS roles and users? You must be assigned certain roles to access, administer, and use Oracle ACCS. For example, only if you're assigned the tenant admin group role can you perform all tasks in the My Services application, including assigning roles to other users. Here are the roles that are required to deploy applications to Oracle ACCS. Administrators, Compute Operations, Storage Read-Only Group, Storage Read-Write Group. What are the steps to deploy an application to ACCS? There are four steps involved in deploying an application to ACCS. Build. Build the source code either locally using open source build tools or build using the Oracle Developer Cloud and deploy the artifacts directly to ACCS. Zip. If building locally, there are native integrations with Eclipse and NetBeans IDEs to directly zip or archive the artifacts ready to be deployed to ACCS. Deploy. 
the artifacts once built can be deployed in various ways. Manually using the console or CLI, directly plugged in to IDE to do a push-button deploy to ACCS, integrated into a CI or CD pipeline like developer cloud service. The artifacts have to be deployed along with the templatized ACCS configuration file. Execute. Once the artifacts are deployed, ACCS looks at the configuration file which contains the size and the number of compute instances and provisions the application to run as Docker containers. Can you tell me about the typical workflow for using the Oracle ACCS? Sure. To start using Oracle ACCS, sign up for a free credit promotion or purchase a subscription to Oracle Cloud. Add and manage users and roles. Optionally, create additional accounts for your cloud users. Access the service console. Prepare the application for cloud deployment. Learn how to create a new application or modify an existing application for this service. Deploy your application to the service via the user interface, the REST API, or deploy from Oracle Developer Cloud Service. Connect your application to other Oracle Cloud Services. Test your application remotely. Monitor your application by using Java Flight Recorder. Manage your application. Thanks for the overview. ACCS in the Oracle Cloud delivers a fast, scalable, and agile ACCS for modern applications. Exactly. You will also be able to easily configure and securely transfer data between your application and the various Oracle Cloud services, but be sure to review the prerequisites before you create your first ACCS instance. Please go to the Oracle Cloud portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.